Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is a new episode of Tazalovich in which we are fresh out from a two big wars. One was the religious liberation of Poland, even though the old kingdom title of Poland is still around, so we decided to liberate this area which was under the control of Svetiota and create new Poland. Um, Obarniki Poland. Even though it was originally ran by Frenchmen, but just to live it up, changed this culture as well. And then even daughter will be raised as Polish. Just to keep up with you know, the populace. Even though it may not look like a fully united Poland because we took some of the control of the counties, but that's by my vassals, which <laughs> I can't do anything about there without getting them angry. But uh, at least it's a tributary state, which they will pay us a lot of money. Even though Schumburg, Bavaria, which had been a tributary state for a long time, or had fallen on hard times, and knowing that there's only three counties left, so I thought, well, let's put it out of its misery. We're going to release them so they're no longer a tributary state, and I will create the original Kingdom title of Bavaria. In which uh, the Duchess of Austria here will be its first uh, queen here. Even though there are other areas that are held by others. So let's say, how come you're key? Oh, yeah. Bohemia. And a few others. Yeah, they own these parts, um, which makes Italy the strongest of all vassals. Which I'm going to need you to demand Gavelkind. <laughs> which one would think, hopefully, the other vassals of his would follow suit, but I highly doubt it. That's their problem, not mine. Even if I were to retract a vassal, they would tell me a maybe. They would give me a maybe. I'm just looking at other parts. Yeah, all these counts and countesses. Looking okay, knowing all these parts. But now um Guess we should uh, usurp the title of Sardinia from you, though they're not gonna like it. I guess I'll give it to this person. They'll work on it. And I fear one day, in, or even a century later, there might be a big independence revolt against me where I just cannot contain it. But then we'll have to give in the demands and. Oh well. well. Unlike the previous series where it was a world empire that I've created, this one, not. We only expand when it's necessary. And we're kind of like, oh, I don't know, Europe's policemen. Because we tend to intervene in conflicts, even as far as up north. But I'll tell you what, ain't nothing you're going to do about the, uh, Britannia. I was about to say England. Because they're staying Cathar and they will remain so for a long, long time. <laughs> but now we're going to go up against um, Norway, which I will request a crusade right now. For Lithuania. This is the amount of land that these crusaders will get, but I believe this is just a... Hopefully restore the old Russian royal family there that they used to run this area. Which was under the name of Kiev and Rus. Well, meanwhile, there could be a bigger problem. There's only 3,000 of them. And those Gotlanders have 7,000. So I thought maybe I should uh, volunteer. <laughs> when I say volunteer, I mean join their war as we prepare to crusade. And I will only send my retinue there because I'm not sending my armies up there because 
We're still fresh on from that other war that I forgot to tell you about. There was a Shia Jihad for Empress, um, and uh, we successfully defended against them. And these guys became independent from the old uh, Empire. Empire of Hispania. So now they're vulnerable from Holy Wars, especially in the Holy War for Tunis. So, finally, Catholics land in Africa. Oh wait, these guys are Orthodox. <laughs> Sorry, force of habit. looking at all of these you know vassal inheritance warnings okay now I guess my request has been granted all right a messenger approaches us with a letter from the Vatican the vicar of Christ himself is asking us to prepare a mind against the Heathens and infidels to restore Christendom to uh, the lost places of the world. The Pope wants to send our faithful Christian men against Rintania. The region is held by the heathen king um, Alfgir II of Norwegia. That's Norway to you people. And it's time to return to the Christianity once more. Though the Pope wants to invade Rintania, a pious Christian could, could convince everyone to focus on another objective that is more valuable to us. I pledge my truth. You shall have your money. Where's Preboya? There you are. <laughs> it's got to think about him. Yeah, that we did fight in a war together. We fought alongside, and we fought each other during the same time with the Shia Jihad. He was one of our commanders till, well. He decided, go, let me use this in words, go into business for himself. He decides to assemble a host, his own host army for the throne of Bosnia. And we beat his armies, and I did not kill any of their commanders. Because those commanders that got to do with, I just cut their limbs off. It was, it was more humane that way, honestly. It's the best I could do. Yeah, so that's going to be my recipient, Preboya Lovorovich Tezlovich. Yeah, uh, he's still one of our commanders, but I'm looking to... Well, if he wants land so bad, then um, we'll put him somewhere up in that region. But this is to install Prince Rostislav of Rutenia, which... He was the last king of Rutenia. See, that is him. He was the king, but he lost it some time ago. But now we're going to put him back. The Slovensky family. The Russian royal family must be back in the throne. You know, I'll give you some money. Ah, you'll get your award soon afterward. You'll be fine. I don't know why I'm doing that, because some of that's going to go to the war chest. Mostly to me. So that's why I'm going to be spending big. And speaking of spending big, we got to assassinate that guy from uh, Smithfield. Because we're looking to put him out of his misery. Now there is another guy that I want to antagonize. Before we could go into war with Rintania. And it's this man here. He has unparalleled combat skill. Because he has great leadership traits. 
He's an adventurer. He's a viking. He's a berserker. You know he has a rash, so I hope he drops dead soon before this war begins. Or we'll face the world's greatest warrior. Which I do not want to get into, despite the fact that I've won so many duels in these previous wars. As I have a strategic understanding and renowned duelist. And my wife really, really loves me. Especially the whole renowned duelist sex appeal thing. Another thing I would want to spend. I haven't composed a book yet. But since I'm a man of diplomacy, so let's write a book on diplomacy. And get a weaponsmith to forge me a deadly weapon because. Once this weapon's created, I'm going to donate it to Sumi. Because he doesn't have one. So I just want to feel. You know, like. want to be good for him. Yes, and let's save Novgorod. We're just going to send a, a retinue over there. Take Vita Cho with you. And, uh. Dorothea as well. You could say these are volunteers. <laughs> and we're just bringing a few more commanders in. <laughs> Eva approaches me as I'm on my way out to tell me how happy she was to hear I pledge my crusade and wished me luck in the upcoming war. Thanks, I appreciate it. More will be joining. Why would I send a message to my empress if she's on the throne right next to me? Unless she's out somewhere. And you know, she's not in any council position, she's just an empress. Alright, um. Vukmir the weaponsmith. And good lord, woman, how old are you? Well, just invite the weaponsmith to the court. And we gotta get an axe because it'll do more for heavy infantry in the cultural buildings from Sumi slash Finland to some of you people. They have a preference for heavy infantry, so we ought to give them an axe, so... Order an axe of highest quality. If we're gonna spend so much money on these things. We're gonna spend so much money, we'll get all the big money after the crusade. We'll be fine. Oh yeah, and build another damn church. Save that. That's enough money, all right. <laughs> and as they tell me about the, the other event where it says, "Oh, look, uh, this is going to up the uh, the ante." My Dalmatian half brother, who's an ugly bastard. So yeah, give him brawny. I'm sure he'll get either honest or dull. As if we need some more dumb muscle about that.
So we're just gonna... Okay. Thank goodness, he's dead. <laughs> we don't have to face anyone like him in battle. Alright. Get the cleaver. Because I already have an axe named Marauder. Cleaver, cleaver, cleaver. A mighty, a mighty battle axe named Cleaver. The size alone will make it easy to shred your opponents with a single strike. All right, donate it to the to the vassalization war for that area. Well, she is Finnish and a pagan, master seductress. So you better watch yourself. And as you go on that war, here is the axe. You already got your mail armor. Remind me to get you some crown jewels in the future. Because I ain't donating any more money to you. So have fun with this weapon. Don't worry, we can take it from you. Armor's not a, a shield maiden. Me. Ain't that something? And is married too. And captured a, a mayor who lost an eye in battle. There are vassals to Godland. So take that area. When does the crusade begin exactly? February 28th. Yeah, I know what to do. I was about to say February 28th, but it's not the 29th. You know, leap year. If that even exists. Thonder, Thonder calls us the, uh, who's two years old, um, pulling my arm, planning to play with him and his latest toy, completely oblivious to all the important work I'm in the middle of something of. I just stammered. Sometimes this kid can be really insufferable. Alright, Ostaya, what is it? Let's see what kind of skill did you pick up? Diplomacy. But I'm not kind, I'm... Not yet. Salt the damn home. Take acceptable losses. It's just to lower the uh, supply limit. Okay. I know it takes about a few months to get all the troops here together, but now uh, I have another idea where this idea of how the offensive would go on the road to Ritania, this area. I know how we're going to do that. Is Rally Point still in? Mm -mm. No, there's no room for all of us here. So Zahumi it is. We're not going to take boats, we're just going to get everyone here and then we're going to start uh, distributing the positions of troops of, of where, <laughs> one would say, where would I dispose of them? We're just going to get a head start out of everybody, while our retinue will stay up there.
Of course, it's going to cost me a lot of money for this. Oh, and you got honest. Alright, you're a cavalry leader. Brawny, ugly, <laughs> ambitious and honest. How about you be brave too? Say, why aren't you commander right now? Even though we got enough cavalry leaders these days. I know who to replace. Yep, my bastard Dalmatian half brother, Giuliano. Div. Uh, Div Verbosna. <laughs> trying to say it with an Italian accent because nobody knows what the Dalmatian accent sounded like back then. So, yeah. You... One would think you should be alongside with us. Or go to your retinue. Because everybody is a cavalry leader or. Or organizer. See, have fun with that adventure up there. As we're gonna try to get everyone together. Time to earn your pay, Giuliano. the witch hunter. Rumor for rare artifact. We once found that seamless robe of Jesus through him. I'm sure there's someone better. How about you, uncle? Think you have what it takes? Hope you get well soon. <laughs> oh, what about voice father? Oh yeah, she's much more suited. You search for that artifact. Not to mention I'd be paying for that artifact search, which is going to cost me more money. Just in time. As soon as the battle is won, they uh, have signed the surrender. All right, position yourselves up there. And uh, we're going to be positioning our armies throughout in several fronts. Retinue will stay there. Do nothing for now. Here you go. Now she really, really loves me. Time to stop swaying her. Now who can I sway? Who likes me the least of all the vassals? The better question is, who's a member of what faction? You bankrupt yourself. Well, that's your problem, Chief. So, you better start swaying Italy, because you know how these guys are like. Oh, let's see. Noble Customs or Majesty? Majesty. You know, the long rain bonus, short rain years stream. Yeah, knowing the supply limit of these areas, we're actually going to split them in the four army groups. So, <coughs> here's how it goes. Um, my army will be in Bureg. 
Uite ce au căuate. The nearest through there. Last one through there. It's gonna go this way, that way, that way. And a retinue from the north. Because mind you, this crusade on the other side is gonna involve every damn body, including Smithio. Which, why haven't we assassinated him yet? Is he in hiding? No, he's in... He's in war. At war. Ain't no shame of giving away a few more gold. And that includes the Queen of Svithio. And this other prince too. What makes him so disliked? Is it because of the fact that he's fat? Or stubborn? Or well, who knows? So how's your leg, huh? I'll do you one more time. Yeah, that's what it'll be like. It's like, I'm ready to kick your ass one more time. <laughs> Alright, let's fight. Sun is beginning to serve when I meet with the arrow. He, after he clumsily dodges one attack, my next one lands perfectly. Frantically, the man covers his injured eye and rarely I've seen so much blood. <laughs> yeah, my big axe. Poke him in the eye. Again, I don't want to be merciless, because, you know, vassals get angry. Now he's lost an eye. Done and done. Who's the best commander in Norway? That's what I'm wondering. I know it ain't him, but... The better question is... Not my religion group. Who is the best in the diplomatic range? Coming from, well, German, I no, stick to. You'll find one soon enough. That's a host. That's commander of island, which no doubt they'll be part of it. Right, this man here, we ought to antagonize him. I know he's just some commander, but he's a holy warrior. With that martial skill, he could devastate the Christian armies. Or even this guy who's a genius. Oh wait, he's a martial never. Anyways, I just feel like I want to duel against some of the world's best duelists. Yeah, this would all soon disappear once the crusade begins in February. Alright, Mar co conspirator Jarl Stein has summoned a party of mercenaries who will ambush King Arfas disguised as highwaymen. I'm assured he will not survive the encounter. Yes, roads aren't just safe anymore. Oh! Huh? Right. I see what's going on here. Now that you gave away the plot, but you're not a drunk. It's just, it's like, is here a rumor assassination? You're not one of these guys who backed the plot, did you? Yep! What have you done? He's a steward. Because I took his eye out means... Yeah. Yep. He told him. I'm a unknown murderer. All I can say is, shrug. Don't like that guy anyway. And at least um, I was able to spend time with my lovely wife before the crusade begins. So I won't be able to see the birth of my son or daughter. While I'm away at the front. Oh, 
Kiev's host, Oko Slovensky. For once, I'm just going to say it in the Finnish language. Prutkane! There goes my plan. Oh my goodness. That's all I got to say. Prutkane! Yeah, Vita Chuck can run that on me. Pretty boy, yeah, he's gonna be in this one. And, uh, and a female version of this. We don't have to bring all commanders at once, except for my personal army. Yeah, this may be bad for retinue with the supply limit and such. Looking good for Finland. And the marshal shall be... Helena, I once put you out of there. Because I don't think... Because I don't think you're suited for... So now we found some better commanders these days. You just keep organizing the army and give them better. Not to mention lower the retinue costs. With maintenance. Any good, you crossed the river and we are nowhere near to, to save you now. Give her some mates. Alright, church is finished in Verbosna, and it is the Bishopric of Kreshevo. Now move the crown focus to Zahumia, and, and hopefully we'll get new holdings out of there, because when we get new holdings, these will all be cities. It'll be the richest county of them all. Ragusa and Cathar revolt. Sardinian Corsican Venetian. Embargo war. Right, before the crusade begins, let's uh, review who's on who's on the side that they are pledged. There's a lot of numerous counties and duchies, but the real big players includes the Khan of Bulgaria, the two Lord Mayors, the Khan of Yazi, uh, Schumburg Bavaria, or what's left of it, Romania will be there. Matter of fact, is that two rulers named of empty pockets? Yep, two of them of empty pockets. Obernike Poland, Sardinia and Corsica, Sumi will be there too. Burgundy, Stepan, the cleansing flame for Bohemia. Italy will be there. Venice will be there as well, and even Corinthia. There's going to be a lot of dead people there, but we hope you stay in good health, Rostislav. We're going to get your land, we're going to get your country back. And you have the bone of the saint. Which happened during your reign as king of Kievan Rus. That's what it was then called. All right, now we start moving. On a year one, two, three, four, twelve, thirty-four. Here's how it's gonna go for Dejor Ruthenian lands. You're gonna, whoa, whoa, whoa! I mean, knowing that you will encounter some armies down there. So this army will go. 
<laughs> like that, even if it's through diseased country. Mm -hmm. You just encounter any little forces that might stand in your way. And then you go on up here to link up with them. Our army, my army. Again, it'll be severe winter, but it'll be spring by the time we arrive there. Connor Guarded, this is where Kiev is. And we'll take this scenic route through the north. The far north is Minsk. Yeah. Minsk is the modern day capital of Belarus. While our retinue will be busy fighting against. Did you beat uh, Ukol's host? You barely won that one. I guess we'll have to assist the Finns so they can finish their little war and join the crusade. Yep, this is my idea. The Crusade for Runtania. In the grand announcement, the Pope declares the Crusade for Runtania. It has been the fringes of, Chris of, of the fringes of Christian lands for ages. Once again, the Pope has decided it is time to try and bring them into fold and turn the people of Runtania to the true faith. The Runtanian lands had long been under the rule of the barbaric heathen king of, of Norway. It's only a matter of time before he will fall under the Christian onslaught. God will grant the remission of sin to everyone partaking in this righteous war. It's too bad that Titanic Gordon will not be there, but they it was but I'm sure they will do a Northern Crusade simultaneously. Matter of fact, that's the reason why I uh, decided to assassinate the King of Scythia in the first place. Not because I don't like him. It's it's just to make them Eventually, start an order crusade to continue mopping up of what's left us with you. So everybody's up and at him. So hopefully my uh, idea better not go into complete disaster. Because there are some armies in Norway, even though the main army's already there, because they've been at war for a while. At least we have a crew of who's out there. So first battle's gonna happen up there. Well meanwhile the retinue is already dealing with those guys. Because they're the ones that join on their defense. Hold your ground. It's Plains territory, and there's a lot of them here. And this is the main uh, Norwegian army. Heck, if you guys can capture the king, then uh, by golly. You know, get the defender with you. Gee, I don't know that bring an earl over you. Maybe, uh, Vitacha, she's inspiring. She killed two enemies in one battle. I mean, the rest of the areas, it'll be smooth sailing from there. Yeah, besiege that area so they can take it. Sardinia and Corsica is no more. Oh, well, this is gonna hurt. Too bad I can't be there for you.
beating him back. Oh, look, reinforcement. Good on you. Even though we kind of don't need it. Alright, we've entered the uh, Dead Your territory. And now I'm the Crusader. Mate Tezelovich. Man. A man with uh, no testicles, fat, stressed, depressed, leper, and food poisoning, which finally put him out of his misery. His faith was stronger than his health. Blessed be his name. He deserves it. All right, now get moving to your destination. And those commanders, as I said before, get back to your armies, to your flanks. Stick with me. Matter of fact, we're all crusaders together. And just for moving my commanders there, we're all crusaders now. And you're soon to be crusader once you get in this area. Oh, yeah, it's cool you thought. Marrying this guy. Gee, a bunch of guys want your land. Well, meanwhile, continue to help uh, Finland sue me. And just uh, defeat uh, Uko's host. Target of our uh, crusade, uh, the barony, is Vladimir, the mighty arms, and the wrath of God. Yeah, that's the barony of Kiev itself. Not calling what these Norse call it. Have your moment of glory. And back up the fins, will ya? You know what it's like up there. More armies will be coming soon. At least we got a head start of them. That, I'm sure that means we contributed the most. Yes, we do! Two simultaneous battles occurring. What is this territory? Marsh, that swamp. A 
local merchant approaches me on its way back home to Konogard. That's Kiev again. One of the peddlers flashed me with a huge grin and asked if he wanted me to take a look at his wares. A ruby scepter. I'll buy it and give it to the finish. You don't have a ceremonial weapon, do you? Ruby scepter. I have an emerald scepter, but a ruby scepter. Here you go. I'm just being nice to you. Now that we're up there. Support the crusade, will you? Well, you, you could just wreak havoc on whoever's down there. That's what the retinue's job is for. And, it, and why aren't you starting your continued Nordic crusade? I mean, this would be a damn good time to be doing that. Get back to your normal position, unless you wanna... I don't know, it's like she's the best commander out there now. No, we won't catch him. To your position. Is filled with thoughts of my book, so I thought I would find some kind of distraction in a collection of old letters. After some puzzlement, I realized that they're correspondence of my realm's old chancellor. I have to take a deep breath to calm my excitement. Gee, I, I'll get stressed big time. Oh, oh wow, I got the 10% chance of not getting it. I got lucky. That was a lucky draw. The papacy is now fighting against the main Norwegian army with the king is. If they capture the king, then the crusade is won. And the Russian royal family is back in town. I wake up to the voice of what I'm sure to be God after a late night with my men. It only lasted for a second, but I'm sure I was told to use all my resources to continue a righteous crusade and help my allies. <laughs> what? I have to go to Australia. He's not ready. I didn't know I could do that. Just get rid of your character to join the Grand Master Robat of the Knights of Santiago and the throne of Bosnia will be given to Austria. Uh. I don't know why on earth would you want to do that. Especially in the middle of something like this. I mean after all he is the great. He is a true Christian. He's done a lot of things in such a short period of time. Okay. 
No, I got a lot left to prove, so. It must be so. I am not screwing things up again. Meanwhile. Most disgraceful courtier. Alright, th this is fully taken now. It looks like an abandoned battlefield. Um, a dead a scrolling across the landscape. The Crusaders certainly met quite a resistance here. Okay. I'll bury the Crusaders. They're charitable. We make very little money. Move up. Stick together. I want the armies to be, you know, close together. That's just in case if we get into a big encounter. Totally forgot about that. You know, it's that time. It's winter. Build the forts, even though I don't know if it really affects the supply. It's just to make ourselves feel at home. It's the Russian winter. The unforgiving Russian winter. Defeat the Chomps Vikings. Hope nothing's wrong up here. Oh, it's you! He won't sue me. What did he ever do? Oh, that's not... Looking for a place to send the men to. And it doesn't help when you have a stampede of crusaders moving to the county. Get down. My men and I find ourselves a bar and various level. As evening turns to night, an attractive serving girl seems to pay me a lot of interest. When I'm about to go to bed for the night, she is clearly in interested in joining. A Hungarian Muslim that lives in this area because of the majority culture and religion here. Let me see. You know, if I were to join in a court, I would have to ask you to convert. That's what I would do. But high intrigue skill. You fall in love. Oh, no. <laughs> Not interested in love making. I mean, I love my wife more than life itself. I'll just get rid of it. I have no interest for such things. 
I'll be chaste. Again, want to be a true Christianite. That's what I'm made for. Not made to love with fire maids. Keep it up, Dalmatian half brother. Almost over. You guys haven't picked up a Crusader trait yet? Okay, move into this county and you're gonna get those traits. Watch. You're gonna pick it up in a moment. Since they're there now. Bingo! That Everyone's got it. Alright. Who doesn't have the Crusader trait yet? No, I think everyone's got it. Yeah. <coughs> no. Go to over there. With the retinue. Unless you want to keep the retinue up in, up in uh, Sumi to take out those guys. Matter of fact, I think that's what the retinue is going to be made for. I mean, if we're going to be dealing with hosts and stuff, we'll we'll use our own armies. Uh, where are you again? Because there's so many out there. Now I want you only serve up there. They need you up here. And I do not know what's the best place uh, other than Kake Saumi. I think the best place was the supply limit. It would have been either that or the Teutonic State. You know, to continue with the Nordic Crusades. This again. Join the Teutonic State. Um, I was hesitant about doing that, but mm, it's tempting now. I mean, he's five years old, left-handed, and I'm sure he's going to be well liked. And yeah, my own son doesn't like me because he knows that I killed a man. I killed many, son. Do I want to experience more childhood events? You know what? Let's see what happens. Right at the very end of the crusade, he feels like, you know what? God calls me. And we know Vertigo. He's heard many stories about the Northern Crusades. So he thought, well, let's join it himself. Maybe one day when he passes on, he would be blessed. So yeah, I'll never forget you. So I've been called to join the Teutonic State. So he's going to go join the Hortmeister. And he's going to be celibate. As I look around, I'm like, uh, <laughs> and also, yeah, it's like, it's, um, you're the new emperor, and, and, and the five-year-old boy is like, what? Uh, where, where's, where's Dada? <laughs> what? Pope Alexander hasn't won a major battle. Is a Bella for Bosnia?
Oh my goodness. He took all the money! Is Mama still here? Yes. And my father. He's out there. Great man that he is, and he's gonna do the do, do, do good work up there. <laughs> yep. Again, this is me role-playing, but don't you worry. Bosnia is winning, and the rewards will be great. I'm looking for Pope, 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 Pope. Pope Alexander. There it is, down there. Zero percent. He hasn't won a major battle, so give him some slack, will ya? Zahumia shall be the crown focus. I remember that artifact was supposed to be there. That's gone now. Does the Pope even like? Well, I'm left-handed. That's another thing. Because matter of fact, is that the reason why some people don't like me around here? Is it because I'm left-handed? No. It's because I'm a child. People want to be in the council. I can understand that. Mm -hmm. You did a very interesting decision. And Sardinia and Corsica is gone now. It's under the control of Burgundy. Must have been through a claimant. Yeah, you could take as much holdings as you like, but it ain't over till the fat lady s sung her last note. And taking all these holdings is going to give us a little bit of money. Again, is it true? My father took all the money? Yep. He sure did. <gasps> all the artifacts! Oh my goodness, I made... He made a huge mistake. He took all the books, the swords, the armor, everything. I got no artifacts. Well, I think one day when he, when he passes on, I think it'll all come back. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. Who the heck are you? He ran off. Alright. Um, Victorious Crusaders. Um, God has granted Emperor Ostoya of Bosnia victory. In the crusade for Rutania. Oh, I've got a second of Norway's been beaten at every turn through the war. He's finally had to give up on his holdings in Rutania. Um, Emperor Ostoya has granted new lands of Rutania to Rostislav Slovensky, the rightful king. The Pope has made an announcement about the victory and the virtues of the crusaders as true faithful protectors of the faith. With the pagans pushed out of their old lands, there are certainly more conflicts to come. Okay. Everyone go home. And you guys too. Especially you guys. See, we got a huge amount of money, so... Can't call for uh, Smith to come here. 
But we got lots of prisoners. Whoop. Matter of fact, is it possible to... Oh, look at that. He wears a hat. Dad, come back. Found his calling. But don't worry. Mama's still here. Called me a vile tadpole. Well, let's try to, you know, pass the time for some, you know, for some good. And they already call me the great, even though I'm five years old. Tyranny, right? Tyranny. The Sword of the Blessed Virgin. Let's see saw the second. Crusader King. Oh, by the way, where's, um... There he is, Preboya of Minsk. Well, remember, those Norsemen still pose a great threat. Extensive hospital complex. That we can build. The most sophisticated hospital building there is. An extensive project of rebuilding to, to expand and rationalize the layout of the hospital. Europe's best hospital is in... Is in that area. The summer fair brings all kinds of entertainers to Verbosna. And a puppet show got my attention when I heard the giggles, laughter, and wolf whistles from its audience. After watching the show for a while, I realized that one of the characters is supposed to be me. That's not very lifelike. Come on, you thought better. Oh yeah, I can send money now. Big money. Gift-giving mood. Especially those guys. And you too. Yeah. My father took all the artifacts out of the country. And if he ever gets killed or dead or whatever happens to him, which matter of fact, I would like to be first to know about what happened to my father. He's, he's not made commander yet, but he is the rightful heir. I already have my first kill, but that's just some guy who died in the dungeons, and there'll be a couple of more. Unless I were to have a look at them, just to see if I can recruit some of them. Nope, one-legged eunuch. Why are you in prison? Yaradum of uh, Lithuania. If I release you, you're going to be put back over there and you're going to be persecuted. I would rather recruit you just to seek for your safety. And I see him as being a future steward in case Voislav is dead. Oh, hey, you're just like my father. It's too bad we can't recruit you. Because, uh, you're a friend of, of the Grand Master. I see. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's a mistake for bringing, um, uh, 
the retinue up in Hope that man dies before, you know, before my father gets done with him. You know what, get the rest of you back down here. I don't know what the hell you guys are doing up there. It's my father's idea. I don't need to know that, but it's nice to know. All right, since I just turned off. Go beat those guys up. And then... Lower. Stand down. There you go. That's the word. Yep. That's a great story. How Vertigo screwed the Empire once again. What gives Isabella the right to have Bosnia? That's a weak claim. And she's one for intrigue, so that's dangerous. They destroyed the trade post in Zahumia? Bastards! That belongs to the Duza. Blessed Bezerion is now Saint Bezerion. It was often said that Saint Bezerion was so understanding of others that he would be able to practically read their minds. Despite his gift, he never used it for evil. And he was truly a servant of God, blessing those in his presence. He's a Serbian man of Von Hara. The understanding of an innate. Alright. He's known for his diligent nature, reading the minds of others. Canonized by Pope Alexander V. Oh, he was from Andalusia. Heck, my father is practically a saint. At least in his mind. You know. Oh, my, my father. <laughs> He's now been made commander of the Teutonic State. They see his talents. He's over there. He's in Italy. Well, who hired him? Doesn't say. Oh, Second Teutonic's Holy Roman Excommunication War against Emperor Pegleg Piet. <laughs> oh, sh. Britannia is expanding once more. They're at it again. It's too bad there can never be a crusade against these heretics. Which I think, uh... Should, they, should I ever see an offensive war to retake those areas? I think I would like to intervene in one of those one day. Hungarian woman named Domeva. Or Eva, how you pronounce her in Hungarian. Yeah, my father is out there kicking some apostate ass. Alright, so Big trouble.
Hey, the only most back to being. Oh, independent! Yeah, just make it sure. Yeah, we'll fight one little war. Let's just uh, give them back. Just send the retinue there and only take it. And meanwhile... That's way over there for me to care about. Zag <gasps> Oh no! Jerusalem's fallen to the Zag How did they get that? Sultan of the Jerusalem. Again, it was Vita Ja of the Jerusalem. Of the Jerusalem. Okay. Uh, so they, they were the Greek Tezilovich, and then this woman held it, and then uh, he inherited somehow. No indication of a peace treaty. Well, now I know what's the next crusade is going to be. Retake Jerusalem. But... However, do Apollonius the third claim on Jerusalem? Okay, that's gonna be Orthodox Byzantine Jerusalem then. That's what they're trying to go for. Dalmatians. Uh -oh. I'm sure someone will take care of that. We got other problems here. So yeah. Jerusalem has fallen to the Shia Muslims. But it would soon be put back by the Orthodox. Orthodox. They replaced me with another regent. And then they switched to another regent. My kinswoman. She had blood on her face. Must have gotten into a fight with somebody. She has no rival, so I think she had a little uh, accident going on. Oh no. What happened to my father? Or did he. Or is it due to because it's been a year since he went there and and it's decided that his stay will be permanent and he is disqualified to press the claim on all claims as a matter of fact he's got a lot of years in his life so I don't know how you want to view it this whole thing There's not a single plot against me, is it? No, nobody's against me. They're all fine. Yeah, I figured I thought you guys were going to take care of that. Although, me personally, I must admit, it was a huge mistake, but hopefully I could try to turn this around once I become an adult, if I've lived long enough. But now it's my sister. Matter of fact, my father is not even eligible. He's been disqualified from from retaking that Imperial throne again. So yeah, he's gone. Can't get him back. So, his zealous nature... 
he thought he was well just say what you want he's out to do what he loves and that is to fight against heathens and since he's up there now he's going to be fighting some more heathens One more holding should do. Karika Vanessa is so kind to me. Really? Is her? You know, she's planning to kill somebody. This old fat woman. And she seems to know so much about everything. Yeah, I think this will work. I should tell the courtiers that I like it here. Okay. I got the armor of the cross, which was given to me by the end of that crusade. That's decent. Well, we can do better. And we have the skull of St. Paul of Tarsus. Alright. I forgot that I got those now. I told you somebody would take care of that. Yeah, I was about to say. Giuliano, that Dalmatian commander. Ooh. He was a brave man, but now he's been killed by um, Chavo of the uh, Pragian Peasant Revolt. Come on. Okay, come on back with it. They're really serious about taking uh, Ragusa. You know what? Let's help them out. Let's have one more war before we close this episode. Did you kill somebody? No, you had an infection, but you got into a few duels now and again. You've been around for a long time. Where's your enemy? Yeah, get after him. Take care of them here. I'm surprised after this entire time of the existence of the Bosnian Empire that the cult, the Dalmatian culture in Zadar has never changed to Croatian or whatever. And the Greek, it's still there ever since the Slavic pagan days. But Norse culture, unfortunately, is still spreading. Which I'm sure one day we'll find another... Oh, here we go again. Oh, wow, I don't know. You carry that amount of money. Give me that. Yeah, the, I guess the Ragusas can defend themselves well. We lost one of our commanders. Our 
Corey, where's your big bad host? Patrician houses fighting each other. British Holy War for Flanders. Oh man, do you really want that? And I think it's about time for someone to stand up against uh, Britannia, which is now becoming a bit of a threat. Because the Cathars is the strongest heresy in Europe. Oh, thank goodness the Teutonic Order will assist Sumi against the Jarl's army, which is many. I'm glad they're going to assist them. I'm sure my father's out there. Somewhere. Yes, and they still love each other. That's happy to know. Just happy to know that mom and dad still love each other. Always. There they are. Just take care of this one and we'll close the episode. Which has been quite an eventful episode. Yeah, you stay right there. We're gonna get you. And that's it. Okay, they were able to retake that back, but not the islands. Alright, uh, it's been quite an episode with the crusade and the sudden depart departure of Vertigo from the Imperial Throne to go to the Teutonic Order. And now, once again, Bosnia is ruled by a child, and therefore ran by a regency. And we'll think about what to do in the future. Because clearly, um, there are some undesirables out there this, in the world these days. In which, uh... Which I'm thinking about the possibility that in the next episode, we're going to have to intervene, stop the British uh, from advancing into mainland Europe with their heresy. I mean, if we can't get rid of them via crusade, then we'll just beat them in a series of holy wars, which might as well be the British crusades. <laughs> Except that would be taken for our own. There'll be no liberation wars of any kind. And we're glad to see Kiev and Rus is, is back, but now it's led by Nikita, son of Rostislav, the Sword of the Blessed Virgin. <laughs> Russian Mace of the Cross and Skull of St. Joseph, and they've got. And we're glad to see the other kingdom, Novgorod. Even Novgorod will be joining in a defense of Sumi. We're glad to see that. I'm glad things are turning well for Bosnia. At least for now, since Ostaya 
who is barely eight years old and they already call him the great as if the people have gone crazy so hopefully we'll have some more adventures or misadventures of young Ostoya of Bosnia until then so long for now